Five trailers carrying over 900 boxes of assorted medicines and equipment are some of the exhibits that have been retrieved during the operations conducted between January and April 2019. In April, the National Drug Authority conducted an operation in several areas in Kampala, catching six people with government drugs. All the apprehended culprits must face the law under the provisions of the National Drug Policy and Act as investigations regarding the source of medicines intended for public health facilities are ongoing. The security agencies also cited a Chinese ban found forging manufacture and expiry dates on several drugs. We found him with a template where he had actually manufactured the expiry dates of 2020 and the expires were 2022. He was convicted and sentenced to a fine of two million shillings and uh, the, the chief magistrate gave an order that he be deported. The impounded drugs had doses for 7,017 patients. Antimalarials, that is lumefantrin and uh, atemetha, antibiotics including capriomycin, HIV drugs including atazanavi and ritonavi, donated antifungal drugs and other items including body bags for burial of patients with Ebola. Over 30 suspects are currently being held in different police stations and some have been arraigned in court to answer to the charges including illegal possession of government items. They have also urged the public to be vigilant and report any sale of government drugs. And report more of such cases on our toll free lines 0800 from the two operations conducted this year, the Ministry of Health, National Drugs Authority and the Health Monitoring Unit have managed to retrieve drugs worth 783 million shillings, which they say is enough to supply a regional referral hospital for about three months. The biggest question remains, who is in charge of siphoning out these government drugs from the government stores? Walter Mwesije, NTV.